Fans. Mm -hmm. I So this is Magical Unicorn Quest, a game designed by Andrew Kuplick, artwork by Kip Noskazy, and published by Flame Point Games. The goal of the game is to get two unicorns into your stable, and by your stable you have teams. So you have a teammate on your right and a stable on your right, and a different teammate on your left and a different stable on your left. Whatever team wins, the people to the right and left of that stable win the game. There are three different types of cards in the game. Potions, Magic, and Mystical Beans. Potions and Mystical Beans can only be played on your turn, and Magic can be played on anyone's turn. <coughs> magic interrupts someone's abilities, so you can either steal Unicorns with Unicorn Thief, or use a Halt to prevent someone from playing a card. Mystical Beans have special abilities that must be activated on your turn. If you have one in your stable, you can only do the top ability. If you have two of that same bean in your stable, you can do either the top or bottom ability. The game keeps going along clockwise until one team wins, and then there are two winners. So here we have a four person game, so we'll have two people that win and two people that lose. Best of luck. We'll give it a quick shuffle. Well, he shuffles. You just want to introduce yourselves and say your name at least, so you know. I, I'm Alex. <laughs> <laughs> look creepily at the camera when you yeah. say it. No, I'm not going to look at the camera. <laughs> I'm Corey. <laughs> I'm Sarah. I'm Andrew. Okay. I think I only shuffled half the deck, and you guys watching probably realize that, but we're good to go. It was shuffled before we started. Uh -huh. So we deal six cards to each player, 
and the person who last ate candy goes first. Candy. Anyone? Uh, I did a soda count. Uh, I just had some beef jerky. <laughs> well, you had a turnover. I, yeah, I had a turnover. Strong. Okay, I'll go first then. <laughs> okay. So it, there's five actions in a turn. Your first action is to draw a card. Your second action is to play a potion. And I don't actually have any potions I want to play. So I'll go to my third action, which is playing a mystical being. A mystical being can be played into any stable. Uh, so there's good ones that you want to put in your stable, and bad ones you want to put in your opponents. And then your fourth is to activate the beans in your stable on your right. Then on your left, I have none, so my turn is over. Now, is this one my stable? Yes. Okay. Yep, yeah, so both foes are your stables. Did you draw a card at your start Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, that'll be good for now. Yeah, so in Dwarf, you can put another bean into the stable if you want to. Uh, oh, well, I mean... Non-unicorn. Can I do... I can do it on the turn. Yes. I yep. <laughs> and now, with the elf, you can now use its ability to draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now I'm done. Sparkling gem as well. And I'll throw down a Brewmaster Toad. I'll draw a card. And I will play. Poisonous mushrooms on your elf over there. Now hold that. I want to keep my <laughs> my elf. That's fair. Okay, I will start by drawing a card. I have unicorn food, which allows me to move a mystical being from stable to another. So I'm gonna steal your guys' elf. Mm. I will then play out a brewmaster toad over here. So if two Brewmaster Toads, I can now actually play a potion from the discard pile as if it was in my hand, and then remove it from the game afterwards. Uh, actually, it wasn't that much. I guess I'll just use a Sparkling Gem. So we'll just remove that from the game, put it back in the box. And then with two Elves, I can actually search the deck for a Unicorn, Majestic or Golden, reveal it, and then put it into my hand. I'll take a golden unicorn, and we'll shuffle the deck afterwards. And with the dwarf, I actually will not use it because I can't. I have to have two before I can put a unicorn down for dwarf. So that's my turn. Okay. I am going to. Another vampire bat. Anyone? Okay. Um. All right. And then. Do I want to play another one? No. And then I can <coughs> choose. You said. Yep. So you can either draw a card or you can go I for. Okay. I think 
and then you can go in any order, right? Correct. Yeah. So if the dwarf, then you can lay an extra non-unicorn. Let's just stack the stable up. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Make them super powerful. That's how it's done. That's how you win. <laughs> All right. And yeah, I think I'm done. food and one of the bastards over here. <laughs> My clan is for <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> So you can do one. a second to building them if there's two of them. Uh, so so you can move a non, uh, move one non -unicorn. non unicorn from any stable to that stable. I'll move one of the elves over here, and then there goes the power of stables. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then I'll start by drawing a card, or then finish by drawing a card. I guess because I already did that one. Correct. And then. And, uh, Stable on your right. With the uh, white rabbit, I'll let everyone draw one. Mm. And then I can play one potion card from my hand. Uh, so I will play uh, Pixie Dust to pick up that halt. Mm -hmm. That will be my turn. Draw a card. <coughs> Start with the pixie dust. Yep, unicorn food. That's a good choice. <coughs> Let's work on this thing over here. Yeah, maybe yeah. a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> no, we need to work on that. I think, I think I'm gonna play the werewolf on this stable. Okay. Um, and then activating right to left. Um, I am actually not going to activate the white rabbit, or do I have to? No, it's okay. a man. If it says you may, you do not have to. Ah, perfect. Okay, so, but I am going to play a potion, and I think I'm going to play the unicorn food um, to take this elf out of the stable. Oh, my plan's getting for And then I also mm -hmm. get to play another potion from this side, so let's go ahead and play a sour apple. Um... I will take a look at your hand, actually, please. Yep. Thank you. Oh, wow. Don't let no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, everyone's probably got powerful hands while the cards we got. I think I am going to... There's a lot of card power in the stables. Right. Yeah. We're going to get rid of that unicorn right there. Okay. I'm stealing you. So I'll start us off at the end of your turn then. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. I will play a a unicorn food. Take back the Brewmaster Toad. I am then going to play a second werewolf into this stable. And then I'll go to activate. So I'll use the Brewmaster Toads to play out a the Pixie Dust. And then I will add the Unicorn Thief to my hand. Uh, with the werewolves, I can discard one of the from any stable, so we'll get rid of that white rabbit. Oh no. And then with the dwarfs, I will play out a golden unicorn. I'm going to play a unicorn thief. Mm, I'm going to 
So I still get so to steal. So yeah, so you still get the unicorn. Any you? other halts? No. <laughs> All right. So I'll take this and I'll put them. I, right I'm here. completely content <laughs> with that. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my turn. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so first thing, I'm going to put a giant spider mm. up there. Let's see. Okay, so I'll start here. Discard one mystical being from any s stable. Well, then, can I get rid of the unicorn? You can, yes. <laughs> discard that thing. Oh, so no. unicorns are too pure for a discard pile. They actually go on the bottom of the draw deck. <coughs> Make it so you can you, you never actually <laughs> shuffle the draw deck in the game. Ah. So the draw deck gets smaller and smaller. All you'll do is find unicorns at the end. Okay, okay. I'm gonna oh, play right. one mystical being into any stable. So I guess I'll just do that. And then so then I do these guys, right? Yes. So then I draw. So I choose and. Not new from being from any stable to this stable. But I'm gonna do that. You don't want to move that unicorn over here? Yeah, it can't <laughs> be a unicorn. Oh, okay. The bats can't steal unicorns. All right, that's my turn. Makes it too easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah some big bats. <laughs> yeah. Very big bats. Okay. Oh. Um. I'll just do it myself. Put <laughs> 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 that over there. Um, and then I'll grab a unicorn. There was one here. You get to choose the one you want? I choose the one I want? Yeah. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. Um, and then one non unicorn being from there to here. I'm the brewmaster toad. I don't know. You got to take out one of those. Yeah, they're just clobbering us over there. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then play another potion from my hand. I'll play Rainbows and Glitter, and I will declare Halt. I do not have any. You can also I halt it instead of just what giving them your halt. <laughs> oh, oh I I'm stealing all the halts. Yes, I just halt it because yes. I don't want you to have it. <laughs> got rid of a halt request. Yes. <laughs> yeah. got rid of That's my turn, and I didn't have to discard down any one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I'm in a second. First, or can I actually You choose the order. All right, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one first and do uh, Witch's Brew. Um, so I'm going to exchange my hand with. Uh, thank you. <gasps> no! <laughs> I had a pretty good hand. I remember seeing it. So. <laughs> and if you have any magic, you have to discard one now. Oh, yeah. Uh, discard. Sorry, what is magic card? Um. A 
poisonous mushrooms on that majestic unicorn. Oh, no. Ooh. Then I'm going to play a spider out. I will activate the toad to play out Pixie Dust for a halt card. I'm going to use the two spiders and then target adventurer. So, Sarah, you have to give me a magic card from your hand. Magic. And I think you got a. Health card in there. <laughs> wow. I remember he switched hands. Oh, I used it though. To oh, did you? Unicorn oh, you did. That's <laughs> right. Okay, <laughs> never mind then. Uh, werewolves, I can discard one of your bats. And then the dwarfs, I can play out a bat into that stable. And that's my turn. I'm gonna do let's just put a spider over there. And then one that would be from any stable. Hmm. I mean I guess discard the brewmaster. Oh no. Picking on us over here. <laughs> <laughs> stable into a stable you don't control. Okay, I will give you Golden Unicorn. No. <laughs> 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 Alright. And that is it. I'm done. <laughs> I was ready to pop off next turn. You took it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do. What do I want to do? Play some more points. That's the goal of the game. Yeah. Play a sparkling gem. <laughs> you to play any potion in the discard pile. Yeah. I had a plan. I think I could still do it, but I don't think I can do it. <laughs> uh, um... Search the magical forest deck for um, yeah. I'll do that. I would add I guess the only other one here. You know, I 
and the vampire bat makes you move one of the other unit beings to a different stable. Stable you don't control. Um, probably move the unicorn over here. Yeah. And we can just play Majestic over here next turn, too. You know, <laughs> and then you can just lose. <laughs> 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 so it's like a win win to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I could. <laughs> So it has to be one of these two. Oh, Stay where you don't control. Yeah. Probably, probably and then the vampire bat or giant spider on your right side too. So you um, probably want to smooth the spider out. Be my guess. But you can also discard a magic card first if you'd rather. Don't even eat them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with rainbows and glitter, and I'm gonna call for unicorn thieves. Thank you. <laughs> My mortal enemy. <laughs> um, let's play majestic unicorns in the stable. And then well, done with the rainbows and glitter first. They don't want them stealing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, activating. I'm going to start with a giant spider and target you if you have one. To give me one magic card from your hand. Do I have your magic cards? Thank you. Um, and then. Let's see here. Nothing I'll draw one card. That's it. Okay. I will draw a card. I will play out sour apples. Curious what you have in your hand over there. It's a thick hand. It's a thick one, yeah. <laughs> We will have you discard another one of those unicorns that you got. There goes my plan. Now, all I need to do is figure out how to get that unicorn into my hand. Um, I will play out a mystical being here. And then we'll activate. So if the elves, I'll draw a card. With a giant spider, I'll have you give me a magic card. <laughs> Wonder what that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do the white rabbit. I'm I'm not going to do the dwarf. I will discard that golden unicorn with the werewolves. Rude. <laughs> I will discard a magic card. <laughs> from the giant spider. And I have no beans I want to lay. So that's my turn. Right. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so just let you go to well, run my <laughs> team over here. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I don't know what I want to do. At least I found a way to get rid of that golden and unicorn. There we go, yeah. It's <laughs> over here. We're at the bottom now. It's got to yeah. get the elves. Brewmaster Toads could get it too with a, a sparkling gem. I yeah. think there's a couple still in here. I think, I think I'm just play a unicorn. Um, so yeah, so you could use the werewolves to discard the spider if you don't like that. Yeah, I think I will do that. Discard that. This would be much I can't do. I could. No, I'm, okay. No. The discard pile. I'll probably do that. One potion. Probably discard. So it's 
Fire Queen Jam at the bottom will probably be a good one for you. I'll get you a unicorn. Yeah. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do that. Grab this guy. That vampire bat's just slowly yeah. whittling down that stable. Yeah. <laughs> bats. This stable to a stable you don't control. So, so either one of those two. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Alright, I'm done. Alright. So that oh. becomes your life, but if she puts it here, then we win the game unless you guys oh. stop that. Oh no. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. cannot stop it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. I had another it's one. Oh, oh yeah. No. Yeah. And I was going to play unicorn oh, food. Oh, unicorn food to move it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And if you oh, weren't no. so mean to me, I had two white rabbits. Oh, it's good one that way, too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you. I tried to t steal one non-existent magic. <laughs> you kept stealing. You stole the uniform more. You did there, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I had hold cards at the end if it wasn't going go my way. That's what I was sitting on. <laughs> if that dwarf was over here, um, I would, that dwarf, I would have been able to play two white rabbits and a mystical unicorn. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or just another unicorn. Another unicorn. Yeah. You get two unicorns out. If yeah. you have two dwarfs in a stable. So that can be like a way to sneak a win in. Yeah. You just sift the unicorns and you hammer it. But people can't pick apart your decks once they realize you have a unicorn in it. <laughs> yeah. Or your hand. Yeah. <laughs> the rainbows I mean, and glitters. Those, the those uh, unicorns, I can't say I collected them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think and I did much over here. I think it's all her work. She <laughs> yep. won it for me. I was working on this stable. <laughs> so, Corey? Thoughts? What did you think of the game? I liked it a lot. I, li I liked the, uh, the kind of the, the team dynamic of it. Um, we've got teams uh, with the left and the right. There's the left and the right of you. That's really cool. I, that's one thing I really like about this game because it is a lot of like a take that game. And mm -hmm. a lot of people criticize take that game because you feel punished or like someone's ganging up on you. But here it's since you're working with the person and you're also punishing that person at the same time, mm -hmm. you never feel targeted and you also feel like you're an ally with them. Right. So you never feel betrayed or left out. Yeah, it's a really weird dynamic being like against everybody but <laughs> partnered with everybody. It's like a weird mind game, but um, but I really like the. I mean, the, there's a lot of things you could do with the cards, but they're so simple and they're really easy to to learn. After a couple playthroughs, like we know what all the cards do, so it's kind of nice. Right. There's like what ten card, ten different cards. There's ten different mystical beings, seven different potions, and uh, two magics. So, so seventeen different cards. Not in the game. a lot of cards. I have to remember what they do. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And you're not some of those games where it's like you just every card's different and you just sit there trying to mm -hmm. figure out what is the strategy every time mm -hmm. you draw a new card mm -hmm. or when someone lays a card you're saying they're trying to read it once you get them down you can just be like yep I know what that unicorn food does now mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's really neat that uh, also those red cards there are, they turn into good cards if you can stack them up so you're you got a way to kind of come back from them without having to you know let them overrun your stable right. so that's really cool yeah because right at the very end Alex <laughs> had the 
two bats in both his stables. If he could just combine it into one, he gets that power stable again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And it was really fun, too, because, like, the game state changes after every play. So it's like you think you know what you're doing, but then the game state changes and makes mm -hmm. it think again. It's, I like that. That's a fast game. <coughs> yeah. About 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can have really quick games if the deck's not shuffled. We had that <laughs> <laughs> our, our first game before Sarah got here. <laughs> it literally lasted three rounds. Yeah, that was a great three rounds. <laughs> uh, um, so you can get very fast games too, uh, but you just shuffle and play again. Mm -hmm. so. Well, thank everyone for playing, for coming yeah. out. Thanks yeah. for uh, creating the game. It's thank awesome. you. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's it for us tonight. So thanks again, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.